zebra. Jerung had expected to be met by Hiram, the oldest of the zebras, but instead it was Mia, his daughter, who came to greet them with a soft whinny of delight. Behind her, Jerung could see Fleet and Miskin, her two children, and noticed how much the young zebras had grown since he'd been away. Jerome introduced Honey Bear, who was amazed by the black and white stripes on the zebra's coats, standing out clearly in the moonlight. I never thought we'd see you again, Mia said. So much time has gone by since you left. Jerome was looking around as she spoke. Where's Hiram? he asked, not finding any sign of the old zebra. I'm afraid he died, said Mia. Oh, I'm very sorry. He was old, said Mia. And it's what happens. He was very wise and he taught me a lot about being a zebra. I will never forget him. Nor will I, Jerome said. After a moment of silence, Mia asked Jerome to tell them about his adventures. Well, said Jerumph, the first thing I must tell you is. But he got no further because a bright beam of light suddenly started flashing around the enclosure. It's one of the keepers with a torch, said Mia. Quick, you must both go before they see you. This way, Jerumph said, grabbing Honeybear's arm. As quickly as they could, the two friends hurried over to the place where they could climb out. Jerome was first over, but as Honey Bear went to follow, the torch beam flickered across her large shape, picking her out. Hey, the keeper called out in a loud voice. What's happening here? Hurry, said Jerome, trying to help Honey Bear up. But it took Honey Bear several seconds longer to climb over and, by this time, the keeper was shouting and running towards them. It's a bear, they heard him shout into his radio. A bear, can you believe it? No, I'm not joking. In with the zebras. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The bear was in with the zebras. At last, Honey Bear was over the wall and the two were running down the path, followed by the beam from the torch, flashing from side to side across their backs. And there's another animal as well, the keeper barked into the radio. I think it's... Yes, I'm sure it is, a gorilla. Like the one that escaped. We've got to go faster, Jerome said over his shoulder to Honey Bear, who was finding it hard to keep up. If we're caught, we've had it. Honey Bear tried to put on a spurt and managed to come alongside Jerome. She wished she hadn't eaten quite so many shoots and berries as her tummy still felt rather full. What can we do? she asked between puffs. Keep going and make for that tree over there, said Jerumph. The one beside the elephant house. They could hear the keeper running hard behind them. Call everyone out, they heard him shout into his radio. We can't let them get away. <laughs>